Hey, this is Andy, AR Engineering. We're going to take a look at the bottom end of the 632 crate motor from General Motors. Uh, the 632 is quite the engine. It's uh, 1,000 horsepower, pump gas, 12 to 1 compression, fuel injected, coil on plug, etc. Got the oil pan off here, so now it's time to take a look at a couple of things. First of all, this is a Cowley's rotating assembly, Cowley's crankshaft, Cowley's rods. You can see the splayed main caps. Um, if we get in here close, it's ARP studs as well as ARP rod, rod bolts. So high quality stuff here. One thing that's interesting is these little cutouts here. You can see that the block has been CNC machined and the pan gasket has also been notched. That's because this is a four and three quarter inch stroke. So they have to make room for that much stroke. Everything looks really good. The only thing that's a little suspect is the oil pump here. Kind of just a generic cast oil pump. We're going to go ahead and replace that on this engine. Put a billet pump in there since this engine is going to see some time at the drag strip. Speaking of that, the oil pan that comes on the 632 is a steel pan, has a T bottom, pick up a little extra volume, has a fairly simple windage tray, and the sides are square. So there's no place here, there's no kick out here for the oil, the windage to go. There's a little tiny bit of a scraper here, but there's no path back to the, the sump. So that's a kind of a generic pan, okay for street use. I think these are six quart or maybe six and a half quart. Be fine for general driving on the street. But as I said before, we're going to upgrade this engine for drag race duty. So we have this pan here, eight quart pan from Moroso, fabricated aluminum pan, extra thick rail. You can see that the uh, windage tray, much more complex has the partitions. There's also a generous, really generous kick out area here. So the oil can be stripped off from the crankshaft, kick out here, drop down behind the windage tray, and then go back down, find its way back down to the sump. And in the sump, we'll look down in here, you can see there's a trap door and that trap door allows oil to come back into the sump, go to the rear of the sump during acceleration. Then when you get to the end of the track and you're on the brakes hard, that uh, trap door will close and prevent oil from leaving the rear of the pan, which is where the pickup is. This oil pan's brand new. Um, at the time I'm shooting this video, it's not actually available from Rosso yet. This is one of the first, first one, this first prototypes. But they should be available shortly if you wanted up to do this upgrade. Anyway, that's a quick, quick walk around of the 632 bottom end and oiling system, and uh, we'll get this thing buttoned up and on the dyno shortly. Thanks.